this video, I'm going to show you how to embed a streaming dashboard in Power Pages site. Now I'll show you both the approach. One is directly using the out of the box control, which is available in Power Pages site and also using the liquid code. So this is on basis of a question received for one of the video I posted long back. Uh, so the user asked me, in dashboard with streaming data design power bi web portal how to get the embedded url so it's on basis of that i'm going to demonstrate to you now before we even do anything in power pages let's build a dashboard so if you navigate to app.powerbi.com and if you have a, a valid license of power bi then you can go ahead and create dashboards and reports so i've already created a workspace so i'm in the current workspace so now what i'm going to do i'm going to click on new and click on streaming data set because we are going to build a uh, visualization from the streaming data set now out of the three option i'm going to pick up pubnub so i'll select on pubnub i'll click on next now it is asking me for data set name sub key channel name pam auth key navigate to pubnub.com go to developers go to demos and then if you navigate to demos you will be seeing a whole bunch of uh, items over here so just click on real-time streaming demo so once you are here you can click on start demo and from here you will be able to select various data streams so there is twitter wikipedia game state market orders a lot of things now let's pick up wikipedia changes so here you find the subscribe key and the channel name so let me copy the subscribe key for wikipedia uh now as I see over here from a Wikipedia perspective, I can see source, event, change item, link, users. I don't have anything number component. So maybe I'll not pick that. Let me pick up something else. So let me pick up, say, Twitter stream. So in Twitter stream, uh, yes, I can see the user follower count. So this is the number which will be useful to just to show the graph, right? Or you can pick up something called as a market order. So in market orders, also you will be able to see the order quantity, bid, price, stock and all. So let's pick up this item. So I'll pick up the subscribe key from here and I'll paste it over here. I'll pick up the channel name. So this is Pavan up market orders. Let's copy this, paste it over here and give it a nice name. So I'll just call it as, uh, I'll call it Australia market live okay and i'll click on next now it will start picking up the value symbol order quantity bit price trade type timestamp etc from the schema i'll click on create so now my streaming data set is ready okay so i've created a streaming data set called as australia market live right so as you see over here this is the model which we have just created now let's do one thing uh let me just click on new and uh, say click on dashboard so i can name my dashboard so dashboard one okay and now here uh, i can do a lot of things i can click on add a tile okay so i've named it as dashboard one uh, i can click on edit add a tile and from here i'll select custom streaming data so here i will select the streaming data set so this is the one which i have just created australia market live select it next i can pick up a card visualization so i'll say pick a value say order quantity okay and this is the order quantity tile which has it has added right and i can add sub uh, subtitle as well but i'm not going to make that change i'll click on apply let's add a couple of more components click on custom streaming data again select the data set now instead of card i'll select line chart access value i would like timestamp legend i'll pick up say symbol uh, values maybe i'll just pick order quantity okay and i'll click on next now i i think i forgot to save it let me go again add a tile custom streaming data set australia market live click on next line chart timestamp legend symbol values order quantity next and apply okay now we can make this big as well okay so this is how you so you got an idea basically how to create a streaming data set so it's a continuous stream of data and your table is getting uh, the dashboard is getting rendered i'll add one more thing custom streaming and australia market live this time i'm going to add maybe let's add a gauge 
add value uh, order quantity minimum value bit price i'm just randomly picking any values over here you know um, sometimes it will not make sense but that's fine this is just for the you know, interest of the demo okay so this is the streaming data set dashboard so i'll just pick it over here so this is the simple streaming data set dashboard right okay so this is all good let's go into power pages now now i'm in power pages site so first thing what you need to do is like if you want to embed the streaming data set uh, dashboard uh, you just need to have a page in power pages so i already have a page now in this page what i'm going to do i'm going to find the power bi control okay so power bi now make sure that power bi is enabled because if your power bi components are not enabled within your environment it will not allow you to add so there are some settings which you need to do to go to power uh, platform uh, admin center make some changes over there configure it this i've already covered in my previous video so you can have a look into that now if i click on power bi over here it is asking me to edit power bi so let me click on edit power bi access type embed for your customers embed for your organization publish to web let me say embed for your organization so it says this will use aad authentication service the workspace which i have created it in girish dev type is dashboard or type is a report so let me see if it's a report no it's not a report is it a dashboard i don't see anything over here now why it is not seeing or uh, you are not able to see anything over here because this was just we just created it right so what you need to do you need to maybe just go ahead and refresh your power pages okay now once you refresh the power pages studio then it will start loading that context and it will refresh itself and then it should show you this dashboard so this is a dashboard one which we have created in girish dev and it's a dashboard so once the power pages is, is control is loaded click on edit power bi access type embed for your organization workspace girish dev type is a dashboard uh, now still i believe we are not able to see this let me just select other component dashboard yes i can see the dashboard one is loaded so if i click on dashboard one tile show all tiles so i can pick and choose what tile i want but i'll say okay and this dashboard is now uh, rendered right now what i can do i'll just sync it and then i'll try to preview the site okay so i'm previewing the desktop version now i have already signed in but sometimes it may ask you to authenticate again okay so you just need to click on sign in within the power bi card not on the sign in over here okay now once i signed in you can see that i have rendered a custom streaming data set dashboard and it is showing me this nice uh, live visual uh, in this uh, application right so this is how it it renders the information over here right so if you see over here uh, i don't see this graph yes it's still loading you know it might take some time because uh, it's per on per minute basis but as you see over here in the power bi interface it has already picked up value from 9 1 am right so as you see over here it started picking up the value okay in the line chart so this is how you basically embed a streaming data set in uh, power bi uh, power pages now going back to power pages what the user has asked the question is in dashboard with streaming data set how do i get an embed url okay so that user wants to do something in liquid so okay it's simple so click on plus page let me add a another page called as liquid page and i'll click on add now here we are not going to use the control of power bi but we are going to use something in liquid so in order to edit something in liquid what you need to do you need to go into edit code so once you click on edit code it will ask you to open visual studio code in the web and within that web interface you need to uh, first authenticate to various controls so it's loading the power platform tools so it may ask you to authenticate and once it is all done you will be able to see the backend code so let me close this to make some room and here make sure that you know html correctly and you edit the right component so maybe i'll just pick the second last div over here and here i'm going to render that control okay now the liquid code if you do not know then uh, you can just type power bi start typing power bi and then i have this intellisense right power bi aad or embedded 
Now, if I just press enter, it will aut automatically give you that syntax, liquid code, Power BI, authentication type AAD, path. So you just need to give the path. Now, what is a path? Now, the path is basically, if you navigate to this dashboard, see this component, okay? Let me copy everything over here. And uh, this one, till this question mark, okay? Question mark experiences Power BI, you can get rid of that, okay? So app.powerbi.com groups and the GUID and the dashboard and then the GUID and then copy till here. So this is the path. So I'll just copy this and in the path, make sure that you copy it correctly. You just paste it, right? And if the syntax is correct, then just save this page, the copy HTML page. And you come to Power BI, Power Pages Design Studio, click on sync. Uh, it might take a couple of minutes for this sync to happen. Uh, and once this is done, you can see the Power BI control over here. Now, remember, we have added using liquid code and we have not used the Power BI out of the box control. I'll just click on sync again. And I will be clicking on preview once the sync is done. So I'll click on preview and click on desktop. Now, again, if you are not logged into Power BI, it will ask you to log in. I have already logged into the Power Pages, so that's why it is showing me over here. Now, I'm using the liquid page. Now, this is a different page. Now, as you see over here, this interface is a bit different because I haven't modified the HTML styling, but then depending on your requirement, you can uh, basically style your HTML. So it has come in a big interface over here. Uh, it is taking all the real estate of the screen. And if I just scroll here, I can see the tiles. I can see the, the control over here. Uh, which is uh, basically a gauge control and also this is the line uh, chart so it is plotting this line chart so it might take some time for the for data to appear but i can see that the data is appearing over here uh, the couple of symbols are shown between gas linen cloth now if you see in from our dashboard perspective i can see like four five items uh, and then this is how is rendered in power bi because now we have the time has elapsed and it has got to show a lot of data over here now here again i can see some information and then i can see the streaming data set so basically the goal of this uh, video was to show you how to embed a streaming data set dashboard using a out of the box power bi control in power pages and using the liquid code so thanks Ruan, for asking this question uh, i hope i have answered your question so uh, please go ahead and start working on this engagement. Thanks for watching.